Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to have you here. It's just a great day. Today we are going to be cooking a handful of my favorite pregnancy treats and snacks. We have a little variety here and we're gonna make this fun and quick and cute. Here in week 19 with little 20s on board. We are going to get started with one of my favorite snacks and my number one craving so far, which is fitting because it comes from the cookbook Cravings by Chrissy Teigen. Okay, so first up, we are going to make my number one craving breakfast sandwiches. Not to toot my own horn, but I make a really good breakfast sandwich. Like, it is magical. So I'm going to take you along. It's really not difficult. Let's make a breakfast sandwich. Okay, so first we add in our package of ground pork, followed by a little bit of brown sugar. I don't like to use a full tablespoon. It makes it too sweet. A little bit of vegetable oil, and then we use pre-cut garlic because we are lazy and pregnant. Then we start in with one and a half teaspoons of ground sage. This is necessary for the flavor. Then we do one and a half teaspoons of red pepper flakes. You can do a little less if you don't want it as spicy, but I like it hot. Then you do one and a half teaspoons of salt with a little extra apparently, and then a little bit of pepper in there. I like my onions really finely chopped. I do not like big chunks of onion, so I use a little food processor to cut up my quarter of an onion. And then you mix it by hand, not trying to over mix it. ASMR. Who the onion, sweet baby, my eyes are crying from the onion. <laughs> okay, so then you wanna start forming the patties and you want to make them big, like a burger patty, because they will shrink down. Then you place those patties on a hot cast iron that has some vegetable oil on it. And once you've thoroughly ruined your white cast iron pan, take them off. Then we're going in for one fried egg, two fried eggs, one for each little 20. Just kidding, one is for my baby daddy, AKA my husband. Whew, look at those, hit it with a little bit of S and a little bit of P. Finally, we have to cut our English muffins. Give those a lovely little toast in our beautiful new Smeg toaster. Oh, there they go. Time to assemble. Sausage on top of the muffin with a fried egg to follow. Some thick cut cheddar cheese. I prefer sharp cheddar. Here we go, people. Oh, it's just so good. All right, don't tell me this doesn't look insanely good. Let's dive right in. Mm. That is so good. Everyone needs to pause this video right now. Go to the store, get this stuff and make this. This is so good. Okay, on to the next. Okay, so now that babies are soaking in that nice salty breakfast sandwich, we are going to make something on the sweeter side. We're gonna make a smoothie bowl. Not like an acai bowl, cause I don't have acai. All right, so you're gonna hit that blender with some frozen blueberries, followed by this frozen tropical fruit mix. Then for health and fitness, we are adding in a handful of spinach, followed by a splash of orange juice, some guava nectar, and then I added some water in as well. We're gonna blend that up till we realize we didn't add enough water. Add a little bit more water and watch it go. As far as toppings go, I like to keep it pretty traditional with some fruit like strawberries. I love banana in my smoothie bowls. And it's time to assemble, so we pour that goodness in. Then we start by lining up our bananas not quite as uniformly as we anticipated, followed by the strawberries. And then we're gonna go in with some organic honey almond granola for that crunch. Then some unsweetened coconut flakes. And lastly, we're just gonna drizzle a little bit of raw honey on top. And obviously you have to have a cute spoon. Okay, now we have a smoothie bowl. This is a lot of sugar. I'm gonna share this with Alec between the bananas and just like the smoothie and everything. This is definitely a treat, but... Yep, that's good. 
Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's really good. We'll, we'll lightly share. <laughs> Fabulous. Last but certainly not least, we are going to make an avocado toast with a twist. I wasn't intending for this to all really be like breakfast foods. Um, apparently my palette is just trending that way with these bebés. So I'm calling it avocado toast with a twist so that it keeps your interest and you keep watching. Let's do this. All right, we are headed back to our trusty non-stick pan for another fried eggy, followed by some Dave's Killer Bread Power Seed in the smeg. Then we're going to take half an avocado and you want to slice this as thinly as possible, even thinner than what I'm doing right now. Now comes the twist to our avocado toast with a twist. You are going to try to fan these slices out as far as you can and start to twist it into a little rose. Now we assemble our Dave's Killer Bread Power Seed with the fried wiggly eggy and try to put the rose on top. You're gonna drizzle some high quality olive oil on top followed by some high quality sea salt and finish off with some everything but the bagel seasoning. So I did have higher hopes for my avocado rose making abilities. Um, I think I needed to slice them thinner. Yeah, we're gonna try to do a fork here. Have a little class, a little decorum. That's so good. Mm, I could eat this any time of day. This is not breakfast food. This is, well, at this point, this is my dinner tonight. <laughs> All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and my three treats. I'll have recipes linked down below for you guys. And this is the start of my two video a week schedule. So Tuesdays and Fridays are now going to be my uploading schedules thanks to an Instagram poll that I shot myself in the foot with. So uh, as long as I can keep up with it, Tuesdays and, uh, Tuesdays and Fridays was the upload schedule. So I'll see you guys again this week on Friday. Please subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up if any of this looked slightly delicious to you. And I'll see you guys on Friday. Bye.